The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. Today we are going to do chapter number 10. Mr. Marvel's visit to Iping. We have been introduced to this character of Mr. Thomas Marvel in the last chapter, chapter number 9, and we know already that the Invisible Man has convinced him to go to Iping and to bring his stuff his clothes and whatever things are important for him back from the inn and why did he convince him it was because he himself could not go there and the character list of chapter number 10 Thomas Marvel the invisible man and Huckster who is a shopkeeper so this is a new character who is introduced a minor character Huckster the shopkeeper so let us begin with chapter number 10 when we say that we are talking of one chapter it is not actually one chapter because we have to relate the events with chapter number 11 and 12 so these are three chapters which have to be considered together so you will have to remember what happened in chapter 10 when we do the next two chapters because these three chapters they are regarding one event one single event and what is that one event the stealing of the stuff by Marvel and what stuff is this this is actually the books and the clothes that the invisible man needs so Marvel does this and he does this for the invisible man and from where does he do this he goes to the inn the coach and horses in and he he just brings uh, that those stuff and uh, you know the events that follow in the village what happens after uh, Marvel goes into the inn to steal that stuff so these three chapters chapter 10 chapter 11 and chapter 12 will be dealing with one single event but from different perspectives perspectives means from different points of view so in this chapter uh, we say that the Iping villagers are quite in a holiday mode A festive mood you can say why because it is an event of the Whit Monday which is celebrated with lots of festivities you know it's like a fair and so many stalls are put up in the village so they, they are all in a good mood a festive mood and the unnatural event of the invisible man at the inn has been forgotten it is like people have got over you know what had happened at the inn because they are celebrating this event called the Whit Monday it is like a festival a festivity for them and they they consider the invisible man as history you can say that they have forgotten him and they consider the invisible man as history somebody who had come and who would never come to the village again but in the coming chapters they would realize that he has not actually gone but he would be back to the village so in this chapter uh, we see that Marvel enters the village uh, people don't know him and they just notice a short and stout man 
and obviously the reader would recognize that this man is nobody but marvel because we have already done his physical description so this man enters the village um, and he goes towards the inn he goes towards the coach and horses inn uh, and i think this is absolutely normal because an inn is a public place so even a stranger who has come to the village can easily go to the inn uh, his behavior marvel seems to be out of breath and moving as if in hesitation i think it is important to discuss these two things when we say marvel seems to be out of breath what could be the reason the reason could be his build he is a short and fat man and obviously if he's walking long distances he's out of breath and the sec the second thing the hesitation what could be the reason for this hesitation he he does not seem to be very happy about uh, coming to the village because of the task that he is about to do he is actually going to an inn and he is actually going to steal some stuff for a man who is invisible so the task that he has been given it makes him hesitate to go to this place and um from this hesitation we also realize that he is not alone people can see only one man but we know that the invisible man is with him so he is not alone but the second person the invisible man is with him um in this chapter we see marvel entering the inn through the eyes of the character of through the eyes of this character we have already discussed this character huckster i have told you in the list of characters that he is a shopkeeper uh, so he is a very minor character huckster the shopkeeper who has a shop opposite to the inn uh, you know he sees this man okay there's a stranger who is entering the inn uh, that is absolutely normal and uh, you know huckster also notices that the stranger goes to the bar and comes out but strangely he then enters the parlor of the inn so what is so strange about this see um, as i already told you an inn is a public place so it is not somebody's house it is a public place so a stranger also can go to the inn there is nothing wrong with that so when the stranger enters the bar the bar is the public area so that is perfectly normal but when he comes out of the bar after having some drink or something to eat or whatever what is strange he is that he enters the parlor and parlor is a private area if you remember that the stranger used to stay most of the time in the parlor and he used to conduct his experiments there so parlor is a private area strictly for some guest who is living in the inn and not for any stranger so then huckster notices that this man has gone into the parlor he is very suspicious so